Harold Kinder, the flagman. Pace car is in. Ready to hit the button and send them off. Let it out. Let it out. And did Bill Elliott ever let it out, Jim? Elliott jumps out in front as 42 engines strain to break point. Intending to play at that level for the next 500 miles if they hit turn one. Three wide, that track about 40 feet wide at 200 miles an hour. It shrinks to about four feet. And with the second and third place cars running side by side, that lets Elliott open up well a little bit of a lead just two moments. 3,000 foot long backstretch. Elliott out in front. Davey Allison, 25 year old rookie. First rookie to ever sit in the front row, riding in second place. Live on CBS, the Daytona 500, lap one. Elliott leads it. Davey Allison second. Kent Schrader of Benton, Missouri, riding third. They never had a bad wreck in lap one. Lap three, three times, has had serious consequences. Fords running first, second, third in the early going of the Daytona 500. 1963, the last time there was a Ford sweep. In that year, it was Tiny Lund victorious for the Wood Brothers. In second was Lorenzen. In third was Ned Jarrett. Ricky Rudd, number 15, moving around. Rusty Wallace in number 27. Lake Speed just in the bottom of the picture. Tight traffic down out of turn four. 1,600 foot straight away back to the 15 degree tri-oval with Neil Bonnet closing on Sterling Marlin in number 44. This at 200 miles an hour live here on CBS. They see a bit of tire smoke coming off Sterling Marlin's right rear tire on that banking. Rod Bouchard's car number one. He had trouble this morning.